baby doge army finally the moment everybody has been waiting for is finally here baby doge is finally pumping we're going to talk about that today because you know we're pumping more than usual and a lot of people were doubting baby doge i was doubting baby doge but right now it's doing fairly well so we're going to talk about this remember i'm not a financial advisor none of this is financial advice but let's just get straight into it so look at this right now 15.7 percent in the last 24 hours for baby doge that's pretty big you know earlier it was 16 percent, but 15 percent in 24 hours is huge this is like the uh, bull market days you know we're back in the bull market and then in the last seven days 34.6 percent in the last seven days so that's huge and then the last month we've got 37.6 percent still down 42.8 percent for the year so you still have an opportunity to buy some more if you want before it starts to go back up now i still haven't bought more because you know I, i'm pretty much putting my money in chronos phantom and you know i'm gonna make a video on bone because i haven't been talking about bone sheep swapping lately but i've been buying bone sheep swap because it has not been pumping recently and that's good you know just like how baby doge wasn't pumping yeah now now look at what it's doing so right now what you really want to do are is find cryptos that aren't pumping right now and i know i've been talking about this a lot but that's because it's absolutely true i mean look at these percentages here like the numbers don't lie like let's be honest so yeah baby doge has been pumping huge and so far so good you know we've been doing good on every single time period now like i said i have been checking out other things like i have been checking out um look i've been checking out chronos i've been checking out phantom like i said bone um optimism op optimism has been doing good the whole time like during the whole market so i've been checking that out always but you know everything that i'm going over right now it's pretty much things that haven't really pumped too much. And Baby Doge just happens to be one of those. So if you guys have not gotten in on Baby Doge yet, now might be a good time. Like I said, I'm not telling you to buy any of it. I'm not telling you anything. I'm not telling you to buy or sell. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't give financial advice. But what I am saying is that the price is looking very attractive to me personally. But like I said, I've been buying other things. And I definitely do want to get in on Baby Doge. And unfortunately, I don't see a pullback going on right now. I don't see a possible pullback. Um, I always talk about the chart prime indicators because I use these indicators for all my trading. Look at look at this. Like I always talk about how whenever this uh, momentum wave band starts to turn pink, that means we're about to go in major bullish territory. That just now happened. And look, it just happened right as we passed our Fibonacci retracement for our resistance level. So we just passed that resistance level at 8Z1250. This has been a most important resistance level inside of all of my videos like prior. So if you check out my videos from last year and the year before that, I always talk about 8Z1250 because anytime it passes that, that's when we typically start to have parabolic movement. Um, if we do continue to go up first, if we can get past 1650, then that means that we're going straight up to our Fibonacci. So if we can at least get past that 1650 area, then that means we have little to no resistance all the way up until 8Z2300. So 8Z2300 is going to be that area that we're looking for if we can get past 8Z1650 with Baby Doge. So that's all we got to do because it's going to be little to no resistance once we get past 18650. So 18650 or 1650. But yeah, it's a tongue twister. But re really, we really had to get up there, little to no resistance once we do get there. And then from there, we're going to be going straight up to 8Z3200. And it's been a while since we hit 8Z3200 with Baby Doge. So this is very good time for Baby Doge. Um, a lot of people, you know, including myself, like I said, we were down Baby Doge. You know, we we're like, is this really going to, you know, recover? But every time it always does. So it's recovered. And, you know, like I said, once we get past those levels that I was talking about, we can eventually get back to our previous highs. And from there, hopefully we can get to um, 7Z1. So 7Z1, you know, a lot of people you know, like to talk about uh, 6Z1 because I always talk about 6Z1. But just kind of looking at 7Z1, where that would bring us, like that that's gonna, that'll that's still get you a good amount of money. Let's say if it gets to 7Z1, but it doesn't continue all the way up to 6Z1. So if something like that happens, I mean, you're still getting a pretty good amount of money, even if you're getting in right now. Let's say uh, you only have, well, most people, I'm going to be honest, most people in Baby Doge have like $100 in there. They don't really have 1000 They have like 100 or less. So let's say you put $100 in at this point right now. So we're just going to go ahead and look at all the numbers here. So the first one here is going to be 1526. That's going to be 
65 billion baby doge so you'll have 65 billion baby doge at 7z1 you will have 655 dollars from your 100 dollars. so that's still fairly good going from 100 dollars to 655 dollars now if we had if you had a thousand dollars that would be 6500 dollars all right if you had ten thousand dollars that would be sixty five thousand dollars okay if you had a hundred thousand dollars that would be six hundred and fifty five thousand dollars so a lot of money could be made here but it's more money if you have like a thousand dollars or more if you had a thousand going to sixty five hundred would be really nice if you had ten thousand going to sixty five thousand would be extremely nice that's if we get up to seven z one and i still believe seven z one is possible i still believe six z one is possible so Six zeros, seven zeros, both possible, but obviously seven zeros would be where we hit first. And then we would probably have a pretty big pullback after we pass that seven zero point right there. So we got to wait until then to see exactly what happens here with Baby Doge. Honestly, I really want to get in. Like, I really want to get some more Baby Doge because right now I really don't have any. So I really do want to get some. <laughs> but I personally don't like buying anything when it's pumping. And even though this is the beginning of the pump, I stay true to my um, methods when I'm trading because whenever you stay true to your methods, you typically don't lose as often. And my methods is to never buy anything that's pumping. So unfortunately, me personally, I see this. I'm like, ah, I missed it. But I really didn't miss it. I missed 36%. Like that's all I missed is 36%. So it's not that bad because it's only 36%. But, you know, the way I like to look at things, you know, that 36%, it, it, it means a lot to me personally. So when I see stuff like that already pumping, I'm like, eh. So I'm looking for things that aren't pumping. Like I said, I always talk about Kronos. I'm going to make another Kronos video soon. Kronos had a little bit of a pump recently, not much, but it was just a little bit. But I got in before that pump. I got in the Kronos. Uh, no, not around there. Let me pull back to a month. So yeah, I got into Kronos around the beginning of February, which is kind of right before it started to like go crazy. So you know, that was all good. Uh, Phantom, I got into Phantom, I believe, uh, a week and a half ago, I want to say. So I got into Phantom at a pretty good time. You know, I got into Phantom around, um, it was around this point right here, somewhere around this point, around uh, 39 cents. So I benefited from a little bit of that pump. And then, like I said, I'm going to make another video on Bone Shiba Swap so y'all can see that. And I got in right before all these gains started happening as well. So I've made some good decisions. But the decision I didn't make that was good was not buying Baby Doge a little bit earlier. I wish I would have got in Baby Doge around 8C10, 8C10. That's the price that I really, really wish I would have gotten at. And that's the price I was telling you all that that's the best price to get in at. But I was trying to put my money in other areas. But yeah, Baby Doge is doing extremely well right now. Extremely well. Bone Sheep Swap. We're going to do a whole video on Bone Sheep Swap. Up 8% in the last 24 hours. Bone is extremely underpriced. Just look at this. Look at this. Remember when Bone launched at first? <laughs> Just to remember, like, IPO, or if you want to call it an IPO, $15. That's kind of crazy. You know, that's kind of crazy. Imagine Bone getting up to $15 again. So we're just going to kind of uh, do a little thing here with the price. And obviously, we're going to do a whole video on Bone because this video is for Baby Doge. But like I said, I always, you know, I always got to talk about other cryptos whenever we're making these videos. But $15 Bone. 3.7 billion dollar market cap so it's it's definitely achievable it's definitely achievable um i'm just gonna say let's say you only have a hundred dollars in bone right let's say you have like the bare minimum you have a hundred dollars and you have that at the current price so that's 135 bone you multiply that by 15 and that is two thousand dollars so at 15 dollars, which was the all-time high you would have two thousand dollars from your 100 dollars um, you take your 135 bone, let's multiply it by uh, 15, $2,000. So that just shows you that it's the right, you know, this is the right math. Let's say bone was at $30. You had your 135 bone at $30, that would be $4,000. Um, and then so on and so forth. So if you have a lot more money, you make a lot more money. That's the moral of the story. We got to make that money, guys. Like we got to get that money so then we can invest it into the proper places like I said, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. But yeah, you definitely want to be making money right now because if you're not making money, you probably shouldn't be putting all of your money into one crypto. Like if you only have like $50 to your name, you probably shouldn't be buying crypto. But 
it's good to have cash on hand. So we got to make that money. But um, Baby Doge, you know, getting back to Baby Doge, Baby Doge doing extremely, extremely well. If you look at the Twitter, you know, this it's funny how the sentiment changes once Baby Doge is pumping compared to, you know, before. But, you know, it's it's all good. It's all good. But still, people, we got to be like, we got to be better with the whole uh, talk about Baby Doge. Instead of insulting the developers, what we really need to be doing is acting like really trying to push them to start doing what we need them to do instead of insulting them because then they're really not going to do nothing for us if we just sit around and insult them all day so instead of insulting them calling them idiots calling them scammers what we have to do is you know be nice so then we can at least you know work with them to try to get the taxes off that's all we need we don't need burns people we need the taxes gone we don't need burns because look this person says you are nothing you are nothing doing with price community will left you after the boom yeah this person the english definitely is not their first language but you see how they're just disrespecting the developers we can't do that we gotta be nice here we gotta be cool we gotta be calm we gotta be collected so then we can actually have a conversation because we need to get these taxes taken off this person says i don't know why baby dogecoin team has failed to deliver regardless of the patience of the holders still you have not moved an inch for years in this bull run if you fail holder will sell at a loss so this one they're not really uh they're not really disrespecting the developers which is good um but and it's also good to let them know like look we need to see results we need to see these taxes taken off that's all i really want to see is taxes taken off it's understandable that we cannot burn 90 percent of supply if any baby dose developers are watching this i 100 percent understand that and i'm pretty sure the people that watch my videos understand that but the people commenting inside these uh, comments on Twitter, a lot of them don't watch my videos and a lot of them don't understand that. But I'm pretty sure everyone watching this understands at this point that, you know, burns help a little bit, but it's not just going to make us pump. Like burns just don't, it just doesn't work like that. That's not how it works in crypto. And I'm sure all of you understand that. But anyways, uh, someone else says you are nothing until you burn 90% of total, total supply. So let me rephrase that. What he really means is you are nothing until you steal uh, my money, which I'm, you know, paraphrasing and saying I'm coin baby. I, I, let's just say I'm coin baby. He's saying, or I'm saying you are nothing until you burn 90% of the money and steal my money. So you can burn that money because the only way they can actually burn 90% is if they take it from the holders because the holders hold over 90% of the supply. So that's what we're, that's what he's really saying. So he's really saying, steal my money and burn it or else you're nothing. That's pretty much how he's saying it. So if that makes sense, people, let me know. If it doesn't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but anyways, this is pretty much all I got for you all today. I just wanted to show you, you know, the movements that Baby Doze was doing. Baby Doze is doing well. And I'll keep you all updated. And, you know, we'll 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 stay here. We'll stay strong. But anyways, hit the like button and subscribe. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. If you want these automated trading indicators, definitely check out Chart Prime link in the description. And as always, I'll be back with another video.